Good day, learners! Today, we are going to learn about weathering. Earth is mainly composed of rocks that differ in terms of sizes, shapes, and colors. Though rock seems to be very hard, dense, and indestructible, they still break. Rocks are broken down into smaller pieces by the effects of weather. These pieces do not move to a new location, they simply break down but remain next to one another. The breaking of rocks into fragments is known as weathering. Weathering is an important process that helps shape the Earth's surface. The breaking of rocks result in the formation of soil and different landforms. This is also the reason why we have amazing rock formations. Weathering can either be mechanical or chemical. Mechanical weathering is a physical wearing away of rocks without any change in their chemical nature. It occurs when rocks break down into smaller pieces due to physical forces such as water and temperature without changing the mineral compositions of the rocks. Rocks exposed to the intense heat of the sun crack and crumble when rain falls and soak into the ground. In temperate regions, the water that accumulates in the cracks of rocks alternately contract and expands as the temperature in the air changes. The expansion is brought about by the freezing temperature. As the rocks expand, the cracks become deeper and new cracks are produced as well. While chemical weathering involves change in the composition of rocks that allows them to break down into pieces. This happens when rocks break down due to reaction with water, carbon dioxide, oxygen, and organic acids. This process forms new substances from the minerals of rocks. We come now to the different agents of weathering. First, we have water. Water can break rocks in different ways. The strong waves that seep into the cracks of rocks can make them break. When it gets colder, this water can expand and turn into ice which can trigger rocks to break as well. Wind Wind is another agent of weathering that causes beautiful formations like the Mahayo Arc in Satang Island, Batanes, Philippines. As the wind blows, it carries sand or small particles that scratch rocks or face. This can bring about mechanical weathering which can also result to different rock formations. Next we have temperature. When rocks are exposed to varying temperature, it expands. If rocks are exposed to a low temperature, it contracts. The repeated expansion and contraction of rocks due to changes in temperature results in weathering. Plants Some plants like lichens, ferns, and mosses can also trigger weathering. It can grow on rocks and cause them to break into pieces. Eventually, metabolic or life process of these plants will cause the gradual breakage of rocks into smaller pieces. Animals Animals that live underground also contribute to weathering. 
as burrowing animals dig deeper, they cause rocks to break into pieces. Last agent of weathering is human. Humans also contribute to the weathering of rocks. Subdivision developers use bulldozers to flatten mountains or hills to build houses. Some construction workers use jackhammer to break boulders of rocks as they repair roads. Mining companies extract stones or rocks from a quarry or an open pit mine. Some miners throw dynamites and other explosives on quarry sites to get more rocks or stones which can trigger landslides. Now, let's recap our lesson for today. Weathering is an important process that helps shape the earth's surface. It is the breaking down of rocks into fragments. Mechanical weathering is the physical wearing away of rocks, while chemical weathering involves a change in the composition of rocks that allows them to break into pieces. The different agents of weathering includes water, wind, temperature, plants, animals, and people. They cause rocks to break into pieces. That ends our lesson for today. I hope you learned something from the discussion. Kita kids in the next lessons. Until next time, goodbye.